Okay. I am going to start this off right here. This is where my car is parked. And because I knew what Mitya Weber claimed me will be the case. And what he claimed me is that when he will come to pick up the batteries, uh, the battery that I will claim is my battery, it's not even going to be my battery. He said, most likely you're going to make a mistake. I didn't make any kind of mistakes. He made mistakes. This here, Bosch battery, is my battery. This is my battery. Um, however, let me, exp let me demonstrate this stuff. Uh, the battery was not here because I knew, according to MK Ultra scenario, that he will come back. He suggested this door, and probably this is the door that he used will place my battery back to this location that you see right there. The thing is that my battery was not placed here. This is number one thing. According to MK Ultra scenario, it was placed here, but it was not. It was not placed here. And because I knew the MK Ultra scenario, which he claimed to me, I'm going to mistaken my battery for, I don't know, father's battery. Because I know the MK Ultra scenario, the day he took the battery, he came to steal the battery, he came to, to cause uh, problems. I made sure that I probably even video recorded when I came here to make sure that there is no battery here. I am not sure whether I did video record it or not, but I did make sure that I definitely checked the area that by not any chance for what he insisted me would be the case. Something like this would not happen. Now I see the battery is here. The thing is, this battery I took out of the car and I was going to charge one. I was going to take one to some other place, to some other location, and get one charged. And to do just that, what I did was I placed one inside of the father's car inside of the trunk however the battery from the trunk disappeared already a few months ago now because i wasn't going to start the car i didn't it's true i didn't even bother my mother to ask actually like eight months ago more than that uh bother to ask my mother where uh, this battery is Okay, because the primary goal was to take the battery to some location and have one charged by somebody because I don't have this kind of equipment. Um, this was the thing. The second thing is, with the day he was trying to create the incident and he created the incident, it was the two other batteries that he used and battery I'm about to demonstrate to you. Um, for which I was sure at the time that this was my battery because my battery disappeared from the car and mother didn't tell me anything about where my battery is, what's with my battery. Uh, it was, it literally was a big time surprise for me to see that the battery is ready to go. Um, he left just as I just as anticipated. I would put the battery inside. I did put the battery inside in here. He left uh, a broom, just as he stated me he's gonna do. So because of my broken spine, so that I could load the battery on it and drag one. What police demanded from police? It was the police who demanded from me. They stated to me, and next time. Make sure you place the battery and they found me a designated spot inside of the father's garage, which is this one here, to make sure they suggested me so there would not be another mistake, so there would not be another confusion. We want you to make sure that you, you put in the right spot the battery. So there you have it. So now this is the battery I have mistaken for my battery, the battery that you have seen, 
Um, frankly, I didn't know that I have to keep the evidence about uh, my batteries inside of the house. I had no fucking idea about it. Uh, mother have stated me over six months ago, somewhat like six months ago, that Mitya will come to pick up the batteries. And I told my mom, yeah, well, fuck yeah, take the batteries. I don't care. I don't care for the batteries. Take them, whatever it is that you want to do with these batteries. Uh, and the talk about it was about the batteries like this one here, which is also gone. You know, this explains a little bit more about this issue. There were batteries also here from the father, for which they claim they're dead. Um, then there were batteries during MKUltra, they claimed me. Don't even bother, and so on and so forth. And I think there were two batteries here. And in this kind of confusion, there's no fucking way I possibly would know where my battery is, what's going on with my battery. I did not safeguard, I did not safeguard my battery. My battery is my battery. Uh, when my mother six months ago have stated to me that Mitya is going to come to pick up the batteries, and my mind was that he's going to pick up the father's batteries. I had no idea there are going to be two the same alike looking batteries, and then it's going to be third one that more or less reminded me of my battery. This is not the only car I had. Uh, but I am thinking about this battery, actually, where this battery would be from. And I don't know from which car. It is possible that this is the battery from, I'm thinking about, I don't even know where this battery would from. I didn't bother to look that one. Um, Uh, I could be maybe from Mazda or from my previous car. I have absolutely no clue where this battery would be from. This garage area, all this stuff, I never used one, and I did not even plan on using one. The entire house was the house from my father. The only place I had inside of the house was the room three by three meters. That's all there was inside of this house that was mine. Uh, and even that came with a tremendous price. Uh, I had no, no, no right even to go to any rooms other than my room. That's all there was. Uh, so, um, it's highly possible that this is from my Mazda car. I am thinking about where this would be from. Maybe this is from my Mazda car, or maybe it's from my ex Volkswagen Polo, who the fuck knows. Uh, the thing is, the battery looked to me very, very similar. Uh, this battery familiar, this battery, I would say, let me see that. I don't know. I really do not know where this battery would be from. Um, I really do not know. The point is, I did not mistake in the battery. It was a setup. Uh, the point is that if you go again, I'm going to give you the whole thing, the whole explanation about what took place. Uh, police knew that I will mistake in the battery. They, they knew that I'm going to mistake in the battery. And I did mistake in the battery because the battery either looked like from my Volkswagen Polo or Mazda or uh, the car that I just purchased, your Citroën. It looked very, very different from the two other batteries which father had used for his, um, for his boat. Okay, so to me, this stuff looked like my battery from the car at the moment when I came. And this is how they do it. Deliberately, they do it like this to 
Well, you know, the point about all this stuff, what is the point about what the point I'm trying to make about this stuff? What is important here to outline for me? What is important here to outline for me is the battery, uh, my battery, for which they, for, for which Mitya Weber have stated me that in MK Ultra brainwash uh, is not going to even be my battery the day when he's going to come to pick it up. Obviously, this whole thing was the incident that was staged to create as many problems as possible. The point here is, he stated to me, it's not going to even be my battery. And the same day when it was the incident, I recalled what he was talking about. I did go to the area, and it was not the same day, it was, it was afterwards, but I did go to the area, maybe the second day, maybe the third day, when the incident took place, I did go to the area also of my car. I checked the garage, I scanned the garage. I wanted to see, to make sure that this is my battery. And I haven't seen any other battery, including the battery that I demonstrated you next to my car. The point here is that he came to create incident here. The point here is that he was out here to create a physical confrontation according to MK Ultra scenario. The point here is that he returned afterwards and had placed this battery here. He delivered the mother back here home. And when he delivered the mother back home, he went, he did not return to the car. He did not return to the car, meaning that he have hidden this battery from me the day when he was, because I did go inside, remember? The day when this, when he created the incident, he have stolen this battery, literally. It was attempted theft. Now it's a theft, proven theft, because he have hidden the battery. So I could not see one anywhere. The battery, this battery was next to the car where you saw me right now. You understand me what I'm saying? This battery was inside of the trunk of the car where you saw me right now. Where we are at right now, we are on the other side of the house. I took this battery so I can charge one. Do you understand? So I can give one somebody so that they can charge me this battery. So it's not going to go completely dead. The battery disappeared instead from the father's trunk. I assumed that mother placed the battery somewhere. I don't know. I assumed that the battery is somewhere in whatever. She is, she is taking absolutely everything apart. She is she's just doing the stuff the way she wants. And so I figure out, since I'm not using the car, that maybe, I don't know, the battery is somewhere here that, that she stored one inside of the room or whatever she did with it. I didn't bother to ask. That's true. The point here is what I stated to you right now have taken place probably eight months ago. The point here is the next thing that happened is mother stated to me six months ago, Mitya is coming to pick up the batteries. And I stated to her, you know, uh, for the batteries that they were like sitting over there from the mother, uh, uh, sitting basically right here. One battery was sitting right here. And the other battery was sitting right here. Or maybe even two batteries were sitting right here. Uh, and there was more batteries that were inside of this bunker that father had downstairs. Um, these are totally different batteries, just as I took the photos. It's now good that I took the photos of it before he took those batteries. They're totally different batteries. Those are the batteries that are used to literally... Um, it's a different battery. This is the stuff that uh it's a different battery okay that battery no way that would be from my my any of my cars 
And the point here is that the battery that you have seen right there, which I don't know, it could be from my old Volkswagen Polo, it could be from my Mazda. Um, the thing is, Mazda was destroyed almost as soon as I delivered one here. I almost got killed with the Mazda. The point here is, I only drove Volkswagen Polo practically. Maybe 3,000 kilometers, I don't know how much I drove that car. I don't even know how much the fuck I drove that car before the car was stolen away from me in Budapest. They're stealing cars, they're destroying absolutely everything, and came about to suggest me I'm a paranoid schizophrenic literally through the theft of the battery. For what he staged here is one thing. He was trying to make an incident out of it. Yeah, I already talked about that stuff. For what he have hidden my own battery from my eyesight. So I would mistake in my battery with this battery, however, this is a completely different separate incident. Yes, that's a totally different separate incident. It must have been maybe this Sunday or Saturday when my niece delivered my mother back and it was exactly when Mitya Weber delivered my battery to his location. Uh, again, I'm going to say my, my, my battery was inside of my fucking car because it was ready to go to, the, to be charged. This here, this location here, where after he had hidden the battery so that he could create an incident, where he had hidden the battery, I don't know. Um, this was not even the area where I stored this battery once I have taken one out of the car. So there you have it. Now that's a proof for the incident. That means that the guy was out here looking for the incident, doing his best to do the incident, returned probably this Saturday or Sunday where he took and delivered my mom back from home for elderly people where, she, where he took her uh, to visit father. Uh, so uh, that the scenario for which he insisted will be the case, it will be actually even proven. He, that's what he stated in MKH. It will be proven there was not even your battery. What uh, I'm not going to say take place because he's got really questions here to answer. But this is what he instigated with. This is this is this is actually my battery for my car. Yes. As a matter of fact. The battery that you see right there, the battery that you see right there, it's probably from the Volkswagen Polo. Maybe it's, maybe that battery is, maybe that battery is even from, from my father. That's a possibility. It's actually a possibility that this, this battery is from my father. And maybe I get to see battery like this all the time because it's a car battery and it's different. Then other car batteries, let me see that. <sighs> this is probably, I would say this is probably from the Volkswagen Polo because it's a battery, also dark battery like this. Uh, if it's not from my Volkswagen Polo, uh, then it's gotta be from the father is Volkswagen Polo. Uh, maybe from the previous, from whatever Volkswagen Polo he had. Maybe from this Volkswagen Polo. This is, after all, already 10 years, uh, actually 14 years old car now. Uh, purchased in 2010, right, I think. So, um, yeah. So now this is not good. Not that something would be wrong with me, but the bottom line here is that you don't come here and actually even hide the battery from the eyesight of an individual whom you are trying to create the incident with, physical, physical confrontation with. That's the bottom line. You don't go as far as this, you don't go as far as that. When you come to pick up the battery, 
you are basically allowed, you are, you know, you should, you should definitely uh, announce yourself. You should definitely say, uh, you know, I'm here to pick up the batteries. Uh, now, if you don't want to announce yourself, that's fine with me too. This is fine with me. This is not a problem with me. If, like mother stated to me, Mita is going to come to pick up the batteries six months ago. I told her, take the fucking batteries. Yeah, I don't care. Why the fuck would I care about the batteries? I don't care. But the point was, he was making the point. They were making the point according to MK Ultra. When they played with the batteries, hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at the key. This is not cool. And then if the key is going to break, and then what's going to happen, you know? Look at this. Not cool. Um, they were making the point by making a lot of noise just above the room where I am at. He had batteries stored here. They were very, very loud. They were so loud enough that according to MK Ultra scenario, they would lure me from the terrace when I would come here to from the terrace to look what the fuck this is. And I see what appeared to me also was... Uh, a car battery, right? So the only car battery that I know of, um, the only car battery that I know of, look at this, I mean. The only car battery that I know of, um, the only car battery that I know of, can you even, can you even take this key still out? This is the first time I am using these doors today. It was the mama who uh, who was using the door, and I'm not capable to take the key out. So basically, she is causing damage. She is causing harm, and she's trying to make look like everything is wrong with me. I'm the one who is doing it, because she is making me upset. I don't even know what the fuck I was going to say. I was going to say... The two batteries for the boat, to power the boat, completely different batteries. One for the car. Um, my, my father's car is perfect. It's maintained all the time. It's a lot of money that is wasted. Uh, but it's the mother and father that cost those expenses. I don't know anything about it. Two batteries for the boat, one for the car. Um, well, you know, what the fuck is this battery there for? I mean, what is this battery? He doesn't know anything about where he took those batteries. He didn't bother to explain, listen, this is the battery I took here. This is the battery I took there. This is what it is. He is in a hurry. He is in a hurry to create confrontation. And so it goes. Uh, as I talk to the mother, as I go inside, as I... As I um, as I ask him, I'm going to take a photo or whatever, and I'm trying to turn the camera on, and I go inside here. Um, I don't even have time. The batteries, he already takes them to the car. Once I get to the car, uh, I explain what the issue was with the camera. Uh, I take two photos of it. I click twice of it, and I'm really, really miserable at this point that, you know, that's what it is. Uh, but that's okay. He, uh, I give him a signal that is okay. He takes the batteries, he put them inside of the car, and but he doesn't go. He no longer now is in a hurry. Now he wants to discuss the issue about what do I think I am? I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't get it, man. I don't know where he got that battery from, where he got that battery, where he got that car battery from. I know it was used to create incidents out of it. And as of right now, as of this moment, I don't even know. The question here is where did he, where have he hidden my battery from my car? 
there was not even his battery. There was not even his business to touch the battery. That means that he goes and he goes into the business, other people's business. Because it wasn't even about the battery he wanted me to mistaken with my battery. But he went literally after my battery to hide my battery, basically. So that you could watch probably this video now online or something like this. So, you know... Um, I don't know what the expression for this stuff is, gaslighting. Yeah, this gaslighting in a way, but this goes into the area basically hiding someone, his personal belongings, and then placing them back and portray him, obviously, as uh, violent, as somebody who is um, on the edge of the tamper, basically, that is happening in his head. Yeah? So this is what you have here. So I get it. I understand what this is about. It's just today, I didn't even use the doors yet. And I really don't have any intention of doing that kind of stuff. The thing is that mother didn't do this first time. I have spotted this already before. It did happen already before that the key was bent. Uh, maybe it's even the same key. I have no idea. There is, a, there is a strong possibility because I video recorded this kind of stuff that she went on to use the same key that already was banned in the past. And for this issue, uh, not for this issue, for the issue when I video recorded the first time, the police stated me uh, they are going to try to bend one just so enough so that it's not, it's not going to break. Probably if I would take this key out, something like this, the key would probably even break. Probably mama is going to break one tomorrow when she's going to take... Uh, when she's going to go to the father, because this is also the door she's using. I never use, you see, ever. I never, ever use this door. She does. <laughs>